Good day, everybody. My name is Hannah, and I am loving, living, and inspiring through classical music, shared experiences, and lessons learned. So just look, look at these beautiful flowers next to me. And if I kind of move a little bit here, you can see these moms that have just started to bloom. And it's hard for you to see here, but there's these little rose bushes that have tried to grow as high as they can so that they can be seen. So uh, these are um, some zinnias. This, it's like a giant bush on this other side and a part of the bush fell over and it, it was to the point where I knew in a day or two they're gonna die because it's like cut off from the rest of the bush. The stem part was really thin. So I um, decided to cut them off to be able to enjoy some of them inside, but look how pretty they are. Just look at that. And I've done a video on uh, flowers. If you want to check it out, um, I'm going to put the link above. And I just wanted to um, get on and talk about another subject that um, I wanted to contemplate with all of you. So I think, I believe that spending time outside in nature is healing. I think that there's something to it. And uh, yesterday I was uh, talking to my parents. I like to go visit my family every weekend. And um, we sit outside and we often like to gaze at the stars outside. And we were contemplating the, the sound of the crickets and uh, how sometimes in summertime you can hear the cicadas, how loud they are. And it brought back the memory of once when I was uh, first starting my um, job as a teacher my first couple years. I um, was, this was before I started meditating and I kind of had trouble handling stress. And I remember one time going out, uh, when I still lived at my parents' house, they have this trail behind them that uh, you could bike on and walk on. So I went back in this trail and it must have still been summertime because there were these cicadas that were so loud. And I could, it was as if I could literally feel the stress coming off of me. Do I sound crazy? It was as if I could feel, it, it was like the sound of the cicadas were so loud that they drowned out my thoughts which is what was stressing me out. The thoughts were what was keeping me stressed. And so to hear that soundscape of the cicadas was just, it made me forget what, what I was worrying about in the first place and just brought me to the now. And I noticed this as well, not just nighttime, although I do love the sound of crickets, uh, when, when I go on walks, I've, I've realized that f after meditating, after working on myself and journaling, that going outside, if you are going on walks often, I like to try to spend as much time outside as I can. I notice that if I don't wear headphones when I go on a walk, I would just get those out of nowhere thoughts. Am I the only one who experiences this? Just, you know how you have like one of those light bulb moments like, oh yeah, that's, that would be a great idea. I should do that. Or maybe something, I remember in spring I did this and something that I was trying to, uh, something that I want, like a wish that I couldn't quite visual I couldn't quite visualize. I remember once I went on this walk and I was able to like see it in my mind's eye. And I think it has something to do with just being outside. Hear me out. What if like flowers like flowers how they there's there's more meaning to them. What if just being outside 
isn't just healing because you're exercising and you know chemically you get vitamin d from the sun and all that like all that is great but what if it's easier for us to connect because it's easier for us to connect with the earth and it helps you to be more present that it literally does heal you like there's something about just being near the trees near all the squirrels the squirrels are just going crazy right now and i notice this more when i talk about receiving messages and like getting those aha moments i notice this more at the turns of the season specifically right now the so the turn going into fall summer to fall and then i also notice this uh winter going into spring getting these feelings it's like that transitional moment things are transitioning and it's almost like the veil is thinning you know if you guys believe in a higher power of some sort angels you know whatever it is that you believe in i, I feel like the veil between that time is starting to thin and you're you're able to be connected in that way more i've also heard that uh s some of the composers i i, I can't i want to say it was either beethoven or mozart or maybe both um they used to reference when they when they were feeling like they had a creative block or um just needed to step away they uh, they said that when they would go outside and take a walk that the inspiration for the music they would write would come to them i think that's amazing just going outside and then the inspiration for that music those entire symphonies that they used to write they used to somehow feel that outside so if you're not taking advantage of the somewhat warm weather that we're still having in september going into october then you probably should take some time go try to go on a walk whenever it's nice out so that you can soak in all of that healing energy you know get the get that kind of divine inspiration whatever it is what if you don't know what it is what if you're not really feeling motivated recently maybe maybe you're bored go outside then go on a walk and see if you can get some sort of idea of what to do or some sort of uh, direction you want to go or if nothing else maybe it just relaxes you in a way that you haven't been relaxed before I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just some of my random thoughts about going outside and being outside and I just truly love it and I hope that you can take advantage of that and if you watch this, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to hear what I have to say. I currently have 38 people subscribed uh, to this channel and it just astounds me that there are 38 people who were interested enough in what i have to say to watch this video thank you for that i truly appreciate it and i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time bye